Imagine, if you will, when you were young and you looked towards the night sky, dreaming of one day becoming an explorer amongst the constellations. Dreaming of the day that technology could take you there to live out your wildest fantasies. A game that allows you to be whatever you wish. A transport pilot or a cargo pirate. The possibilities and potential of a game like this are limitless. Now imagine that game being built by Bethesda. Fuck. Now, I, I only joke, but in reality, Starfield is a dream title for me. A space RPG with this kind of aesthetic, hundreds of planets to explore, ship customization, crew management, a full narrative story, RPG mechanics, skill trees, weapon customization, suit customization, ship customization, outpost building. The amount of features that Bethesda is putting out for Starfield is incredible, and honestly, if this game is what Todd Howard says it is, it will be the biggest game of all time. But that's a big fucking if. Truth be told, I am fighting the urge to be excited because outside of Starfield not having co-op, this is the game that I've wanted to play since I was a kid. It's the reason why I look over the fence at games like Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous and I sigh. <sighs> They just don't have the feature set that I'm looking for in a space game. But Starfield? Starfield is fucking it. But after the abysmal launches for games like Fallout 76, Fallout 4, and even on the publishing side with games like Redfall, I'm having a tough time believing that what Todd Howard and his team are showing is what we're going to get at launch. And I don't want to be a Debbie Downer here. I, I Trust me, I really don't. The amount of possibilities for this game are just incredible. Being able to play as a pirate, taking control of enemy ships and stealing them for your own fleet, hiring and managing a crew to take care of your ships and your outposts, all while being wrapped within a good classic sci-fi story, it's literally a dream come true for me. I wish we could get co-op here, but regardless, I'm very excited for the possibility that Starfield hits in a way that ships drawn on napkins never will. The visuals and the lighting in this game are nothing short of incredible. The set pieces that we saw for the human populated areas, they're visually stunning when you take into account the grand scope of this title. Being able to customize your ship as in-depth as you can, as well as your weapons and your suit, it's literally a dream for space game lovers and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. On top of that, the dogfighting, the actual combat on the ground, albeit a little bit rocky with those frame rates, everything looked like it's coming together. I really just hope that Bethesda learned from the Fallout 76 launch, and I really hope that this game is playable. I'm not one of those people who will just excuse it all away by saying, hur, hur, the modders will fix it. That shouldn't be the case, but mod support is another thing that I'm looking forward to. This has the potential to be the biggest game of the year and maybe even more than that. You guys know I don't like hype and I'm, I'm waiting for this excitement to crumble down and flatline, but that presentation today was one of, if not the most impressive gaming presentations that I've ever seen. I was geeking out on stream today, trying to temper my expectations, but they just kept giving us new mechanics and info. I can't believe this is a game, let alone something we're going to get to play in less than four months. As always, I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. Are you excited for Starfield? Are you cautiously optimistic? Where's your head at? While you're down there, leaving a comment. Leave a like on the video and subscribe for everything FPS from AAA all the way down to Indie. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>